Hello there, I'm Leo Waldock and this is Kit Guru and this is my Christmas present from MSI. It's the MSI GT80 Titan gaming laptop that we've seen a few little hints and previews about so far and they sent it to me for Christmas, can you believe it? Right, apparently I've actually been sent this GT80 Titan laptop uh, as a loan for Christmas, uh, so that's not quite as exciting. Right, okay, apparently actually this GT80 Titan, which arrived on Friday afternoon, is actually going back tomorrow, so I've had it for the weekend, so that's jolly nice of them. Right, so what we have here is the MSI GT80 Titan. Uh, you'll have read news pieces on Kit Guru by Anton and Matthew, and you'll have seen the um, sneak video by Anjay when he was out in Taipei. This is, on the other hand, the actual thing itself. Uh, and apparently it's the only one in Europe, certainly only one in the UK, and it's soon going to be going out to CES in Las Vegas, so then I'm sure they'll reveal all its secrets. In the meanwhile, I can tell you next to nothing about the innards of this laptop. Uh, secrecy and NDAs to the hilt. Uh, however, if you, uh, I assume you have read the news pieces on Kit Guru, but go back and reread them and I am going to go as far as to say that there is nothing that's been written on Kit Guru about this laptop that is fundamentally wrong. So well worth going back as a solid backgrounder on what we're looking at here. Um, Clearly it's a monster. I'll turn it around in a second and show you the screen. Clearly it's a monster. The screen is 18.4 inches in the diagonal. And one easy way of assessing a laptop is the power brick. And here we have the biggest power brick I've ever seen in all my life. Looks like a pedal off a keyboard or something. Um, uh, according to my maths, 19.5 volts, 16.9 amp. I'm rating that at 330 watts for a laptop. Amazing. And ludicrously overkill, of course, but clearly they've sized it to power the guts of this mighty beast. There we go. Now, I can tell you next to nothing about what's going on inside this laptop. I shouldn't even show you the box. I'm going to lift it up really, really carefully because I can't show you the writing because there's some stuff on there that's still secret. I'm not actually quite sure why they're keeping it secret, but they are. So there we go. The MSI GT80 Titan and their logo. And I'm going to put the box back down really slowly as there's a PR up north of England currently having a heart attack. There we go. So the screen, massive, 18.4 inches. Uh, it's full HD on this sample. I am advised that it's not going to be full HD in the uh, retail uh, example. It's retail model. Uh, my guess would be 4K. It's the obvious uh, thing uh, to do, but I don't know that for absolutely certain. Let's assume 4K. And while we're talking about 4K, I can't mention the price, although I do have an indication of pricing, but I can't share it with you. So it's obviously going to be a lot. Anyway, going back to the screen, 4K would be the obvious number for the pixel count on that screen. However, you're not looking at the screen, are you? You're looking at the keyboard. And look at that. It is a mechanical cherry keyboard by um, Steel Series, and they're cherry brown switches. Make sure I've got the color right there. Brown, yes, indeed. Uh, full mechanical keyboard, clack, 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 illuminated. And if I get the correct buttons, and don't make a muppet of myself, look at that. The lights go on, the lights go off, that red light remains constant. There is one of the function switches in here. Um, the touchpad and mouse you notice is to the side rather than below as you'd expect. There is a function somewhere which converts that into a sort of a touch number pad type thing. I can't find the switches. I've, I've tried, I've failed. Uh, I don't have a manual or anything with this. Um, so take it on trust that that touchpad will convert into a number pad, although quite way one a number pad, who knows. Um, I would assume that gamers are going to plug in a mouse. As it happens, the touchpad and mouse buttons work really well. Now, why is it in this peculiar layout? It's because under here there is a lot of hardware, hardware I cannot discuss, including more than one SSD. Um, you've got thunderous graphics and you've got a processor. It doesn't matter what the processor is in this at the moment uh, because I am assured, and I'm going to read out, the processor will be at launch the top model of Extreme Edition Core i7 CPU. So there you have it, basically lots. Um, what we've got in here is a decent Core i7 but not top notch Extreme Edition. And yes, the weight of it is 4.5 kilos. The thickness is just a shade under 50 mil, although whatever, I mean, it's just enormous. Um, it's clearly an absurd form factor to pack in huge amounts of power in there 
and a, a high resolution screen there. So we've got lots of hot things under here. Apparently this panel flips off. I haven't dared to try and find the latches in case I break the blooming thing, uh, but apparently be able to flip open that panel to do upgrades from the front, which is quite novel. Upgrading what exactly, I'm not certain, but never mind. Uh, and then we have the Cherry keyboard here, below. And normally, of course, the keyboard kind of sits above all the innards. In this instance, the keyboard's below because you've got hot stuff and you've got long travel mechanical switches on your keyboard. If the heat was under the keyboard, apart from the fact you'd probably get very hot uh, to the touch, uh, You've also got to have more thickness because you've got the long travel keys above the hot stuff. It would mean a laptop up here. And as the keyboard gets hot, that would affect its action. So they've separated it in this bizarre hot stuff here, keyboard below, mouse and uh, mouse buttons to the touchpad, and mouse buttons to the side. Most unusual. It works pretty well. The only thing I would say is there's nowhere to put your wrists. Um, having said that, with all this stuff going on, I'm kind of glad because it means you haven't actually got the risk of causing yourself third degree burns. So it's entirely bonkers. There's just no two ways about it. And if I go to the benchmark on Thief and hopefully it's going to behave itself and not reveal any, I'm probably going to put my hand over the screen actually because earlier there were numbers coming up on the screen. Uh, let's just do this as it loads. And the graphics spin up and here we go. And there we go. Benchmark all going beautifully. Uh, keep my hand. Yes, <laughs> there are figures under my hand. I'm well to be paranoid and I'm going to hit escape and come out of that. Uh, I have to say I am quite certain from my initial look at this laptop, performance is stonking. No two ways about it. Uh, it did get warm, although I wouldn't actually say it was cooking. Um, I'm as sure as can be there's going to be driver updates before it's released which will help it behave slightly better than it has been. It hasn't blue screened or given any glitches, it just felt to me like the performance wasn't quite up to the standard I expected from the hardware inside. However, as they are certainly going to change the panel and going to change the processor, I'm sure they're busy updating graphics drivers and BIOS as we're talking. So there we have it. Uh, so this is a teaser video for the GT80 Titan which is going back to MSI tomorrow and it's the most Bonkers laptop you will ever see. Well, you probably won't see it actually because it's just going to cost a fortune. But uh, by goodness me, for gamers, it's just an object of desire. This is Leo Waldock for Kit Guru.